Shalom brothers. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Hamaka Kodash, Baraka Thumb, right? which means bless you in the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, and also the Holy Spirit. Baraka Thumb, bless you brothers. Um, call Akiam, all brothers. All right. My name is uh, Brother Yahweh Shai Zion. I'm just coming in the spirit right now with a quick lesson. All right. This is Matthew chapter number 25 and 21. This is also part of a fair parable. Um, you can check out the parable yourself, but it's of the talents. But I wanted to focus on something here, man, about being a faithful servant. Because we have to be found faithful. This is Matthew 25 and 21. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. All right. Thou hast been faithful over few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Okay? So it's all about that, brothers. It's all about the, the uh, being a faithful servant and being uh, faithful over few things. Let's get to this word first and foremost, man. Pistas. Pestas, all right, G4103. Trusty, faithful. You know, they got somebody who will say, yeah, my good old trusty pocket knife, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny because why? Because you rely on it. You know, and everything else fails. You know, you got that. And even, honestly, keeping like a little, uh, even nail clippers, man, like having something like that, you know, you could rely on it quickly. You know, catch a hangnail or something like that, man. If you don't have nothing to deal with it, it could become extremely painful. And, you know, so having something that's trusty by your side, which is really he's likening the faithful. And I'm likening these different instruments uh, to something that's trusty. And you have to be that to the Lord. You have to be a faithful servant. All right. A faithful servant, man. It says of persons who show themselves show themselves faithful in the transaction of business. Now, transaction, multiple actions of business. And we are supposed to be about the Lord's business, brothers. All right. The execution of commands or the discharge of official duties. And what's our duty? You already should know. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So this is your duty. Okay, it says one, uh, this is definition B one who kept his plighted faithful, or Salakia faith, plighted faith. Worthy of trust. See, that can be relied on. That's, that's absolutely beautiful, man. So Abraham was a friend of the Lord. He was faithful. He was found faithful. Because he could be relied upon, brothers. You also have to be this way. I want people to say, oh, who that brother? How was Shazayan? Yeah. That, that, that guy's, he's faithful. You know, he can be relied on. I could call him right now and he'll he'll get back to me. You know, if I text him, he'll get back to me, man. No doubt. You know, now look, we all get busy, man. I could be doing stuff or whatever, but I will get back to you, Lord willing, man. And you say the Lord willing, because like I said, things happen. But being relied upon is important. Having a good name is important. And being found faithful to the Lord, first and foremost, is important. All right. And then it says believing, confiding, trusting. In the New Testament, it says one who trusts in God's promises. And you should know what those promises are. Okay. First and foremost, man, eternal life, brothers. Paul said that, you know, we're going to have the mortal bodies changed into immortal and that's what we ultimately desire. All right. 
and we're convinced. So let's get the word for servant. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Dulos. Dulos. All right, so it says G1401. Uh, a slave, bondman, man of servile condition. Slave. Now, you may say, oh, wow, you know, we're slaves. No, listen. It's a multi-functioning word in the Greek. Okay. Definition B would be the one here to apply. Metaphor. One who gives himself up to another's will, those whose service is used by Yahweh Shai. In extending and advancing his cause among men. All right, that's what we do. That's why the videos go up. That's why we preach in the highways and the hedges, man. That's why we face the other nations and condemn them through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai with the scriptures as we are supposed to. You know, read them their judgment. The Edomites need to hear this too, man. The judgment. We got to arraign them, man. They have to know, man, there's a lot of guilt out there. and There's a lot of blood on your hands, man. You took the, the land from the so-called Native Americans and slaughtered a bunch of uh, so-called blacks and Latinos. And you, you think you could just slide away into the sunset on that? Yeah, no, it does not work that way, man. All right. It does not work that way. Definition C, it says devoted to another to the disregard of one's own interests. Now, if that doesn't sum up our lives, my brothers, and I'm talking to the brothers, man, all right, namely at Great Millstone, because if that doesn't sum up our lives, man, I don't know what does, man. Because I'll tell you this, as many times, you know, you just want to go do whatever you want to do, but you say, I can't. I have this obligation, man. And I have prior obligations, man. You know? Like, like, like women put a uh, for their status and everything on uh, their relationship status. It's complicated. Well, our relationship here is complicated. They're not going to be able to understand it. Only the brothers are going to understand that we have to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. All right, something that's holy and acceptable to the Lord. We're separate and set apart from the other people. All right. We are devoted to the Lord's interests. Because that's being found a faithful servant. All right. Again, Matthew 25 and 21. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. All right. And that, that's, that's just so beautiful, brothers, man. Man, imagine hear, hearing those words, man. Thou hast been faithful over few things. Okay? Faithful over few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Now let's look at the word for few things. Olegos. Olegos, rather. It says little, small, few a, of number, multitude, quantity, or size, degree of intensity, light, slight. So over the slightest things, man. Okay. To even the most puny, so this is puny, little, long season, long a season, it's like you. <clears throat> little and long season or long, small a while. That's why if you, once you have suffered for a while, brothers, man, hey, the Lord's going to establish you and strengthen you. So isn't that beautiful? Isn't that encouraging, man? You know? Yeah, we're going through what we're going through, man. But listen, everything is in seasons, brothers. And some of you sisters out there who are getting edified, you know? If you're suffering now, that's an indication that the balance that you will at some point in time cease from that. This is the joy of the Lord. This is the faith of the Lord that we have. How do we have that faith? 
through hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord, man. Without this word, without these brothers doing this, which are sent from the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, first and foremost, picked by Yahweh and, and saved through Yahweh Shai, man, whom we give all honor, glory and praise to. Without those brothers, you would not hear the word without these apostles, because we are all apostles, man. You know, which means sent away. We are sent away. Oh, this brother said he's an apostle. Well, I am an apostle. You know, did not Paul declare he was an apostle? And that's what it was. He was sent out by the Lord. I didn't send myself out. Okay. And we're just to prophesy the scriptures. Simply put. Now there's different ranking, obviously. And we're not talking about that. That's why the words are flexible. So again, <clears throat> Matthew 25 <clears throat> and 21. His Lord said unto him, <clears throat> Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. And now I'm going to say this too. If you got a house, man, clean it up. If you got a small apartment and you're like, man, you know, I really want to get out of here. I really want to do something. You know, I want to get in a better spot. You just got to ask yourself, man, do you clean the stuff that you currently got, got right now, that you have right now? Is what you have right now to, to tip top shape? Are you worthy of receiving more? Or are you not even able to care for what you have now? So how could you ever think to receive more? And, and apply that to everything, man. Apply that across the board in life. Why should you be given more when you can't take care of what you got now? And what you have now. So just think about it. Someone's going to, that's going to permeate in somebody's skull, man. I already know that's, that's going to go into your thoughts, man. All day, probably. But good, you know, because that it's, it's all about being faithful over a few things. It says, I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Now, let's, that's beautiful. Now, let's get the word for many things. Polu, polus. Polus, I believe. So it says, including the forms of... Uh, alternate polos okay many much large but let's go into the expansive uh definition strong's definition it says uh singular much in any respect or plural many as adverbial largely okay often most largely abundant okay abundance so if you got a little bit now, you're going to have abundance if you're faithful over the little you got, man. And in the smallest amount, even the measurement of faith that you have right now, over the understanding that you have, are you faithful over that small little understanding that you got? Are you utilizing what you have and your talents? And it's just going to breed more. The Lord will just give you more, man. Okay. It says far, past, spent, uh, be of a great Age, deal, long, many, much, plenteous, sore, straightly. There you go. All right. So this is our duty, man, is to preach these scriptures, get you brothers on point mentally and um, to prepare yourself to enter into the joy of thy Lord, which is who? Yahawashai, man. Okay. Uh, it says here, Lord, kurios. Um, G2962 It says He to whom a person or things belongs About which he has power of deciding Master, Lord That's Yahweh Shai The owner is a, the, the possessor And disposer of a thing Right He is the creator of All these things, man That you see Yahweh Shai Yahweh created him and Yahweh Shai created you, brothers. You gotta you gotta understand this thing. Alright. Definition B says, 
is a title of honor, expressive of respect and reverence with which servants greet their master. That this title is given to God, which is Yahusha, really they're talking about Yahusha, it says the Messiah, the Hamashiach. All right? Because he has many titles, but only one name. It's only Yahusha, that's it. You can't, you can't call him what you want to call him. Well, I call him Daddy. Yeah, I had a girl call. I call him Papa. Well, you don't know the Lord, all right? You don't know the Lord. He has a name, all right? It's crazy, but it's not. It's holy, so you're not supposed to give that which is holy onto the dogs. But let me just get this one last uh, thing here. Into the joy of thy Lord. <clears throat> joy. Chara. Joy, gladness. G5479, gladness, the cause or occasion of joy or persons who are one's joy. That's right, because it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom and you're going to be rejoicing with palms in your hands, man. Second Ezra, all right? I think starting with the 41st chapter, 40, 41st verse or so. All right, so hey, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. All right, may Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai continue to bless you, brothers. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son, who the world ignorantly calls JC. You know, put two and two together. All right, Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Until next time, it's your brother Yahweh Shai Zion. And just, you know, you brothers, man, just a reminder send up fervent prayers. On to the Lord, okay, one uh, multiple times a day in the morning, getting into a meditative state with deep, deep concentration, okay, and then in the noontime, set the time aside and do it again. And around three to four o'clock, before the sun goes down, one last time, all right. This will this will balance your life. Just an encouragement, exhortation, brothers. Believe me, you, you're gonna need this now. All right. So hey, shalom again, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Yahweh Kakudash Barakah Thumb.